Alrighty guys, so this week I'm going to do a serious topic and I'm going to talk about my personal experience uh, with anxiety. Um, when it was first suggested to me that I had anxiety, I was in my late 20s and I really pushed back and rebelled against the idea. I was just like, no, 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 I absolutely do not have anxiety. Um, uh, and people who know me um, would probably, well, a lot of people who knew me probably would have been like, yeah, of course, no, she doesn't have anxiety. Um, because I was really good at, you know, the point of fear and just jumping and pushing past that fear. Um, even if the fear is like really, really bad, I had just kind of learned that, and I don't know when I learned this, I had just learned that when you get to this point, like all of that horrible, awful feeling of anxiety, like you can get rid of it by just jumping in getting past like what you're afraid of. Um, and so at some point I had learned to just start pushing myself and pushing myself, even when I was really afraid of things. Uh, so, you know, for example, like I am very, very, very afraid of heights, uh, and the feel and say sensation of falling has just always been something that just that feeling terrifies me. Uh, so jumping off of a stunt airbag from a platform it was one of the most terrifying things I've ever done in my entire life. And uh, no, telemarketer. Talk about something to be terrified of. Um, so it was one of the most terrifying things I've ever done in my entire life. And literally the entire time as I am like going up to the platform in my head, like all I can see is this like really graphic morbid image of me like not jumping far enough. Like I'm just thinking, you're going to get scared. You're going to freeze. You're not going to jump far enough. You're going to hit your head and die. And I could just see myself like hitting my head on the wood twice on the way down and dying. And that's all I could think about. You're going to die. You're going to die. You're going to die. You're going to die. Uh, and it, but I was tell, and I'm shaking and I'm like, I can barely think and I'm spiraling and I'm spiraling, but I'm just telling myself, just get up there and just jump, just jump, just jump. And I jumped and I hit the bag and I didn't die and everything was okay. I don't really remember like after jumping, like I, I think everything was kind of pretty blank after that. I will never do that again. But I did it. You know, I did it. I pushed myself to do it. And then I think I felt sick from the adrenaline for probably the next hour after it. And it was a horrible feeling. And I, but I did it. You know, I pushed myself through it. And I don't know when I learned this. Um, but, you know, it, what, what, what reminded me of all of this and kind of what start, what made me want to talk about this in this video is I was looking through old Facebook posts. Uh, and there was one from my grandfather. And so he was talking about how I used to be afraid of everything and now I'm like, I'll try or do just about anything. And it's true. Uh, and I don't know, you know, it was when I had that switch where I just realized it was like, I could just, you know, if I could just get past it and just go past the, the fear, um, I would be, it would be, everything would be okay. And I could just do it. Uh, and so I started just pushing and just jumping uh, past things that, you know, that scared me. Uh, and, you know, sometimes, you know, my fears, you know, you're, you know, fears can be real. Fears can be rational. Fear is irrational. You know, things like say, you know, there's an aggressive dog coming at you and you're afraid it might bite you. That's a very logical fear. That fear is there to protect you. Um, but anxiety is, you know, when you spend time worrying over often things that are illogical or things that haven't happened yet or things that may, you know, you don't necessarily need to spend time worrying about. Uh, and, you know, for me, when I was younger, I would just, I had, you know, very logical, I would logic myself out of doing things. Like I had these very logical, you know, reasons I was afraid you know, for to me, like these are logical things, like, you know, 
the the fear I was pushing past uh, to jump off that platform, like I feel like it was a very logical fear. Maybe I could have hit my head and died on the way down. Like that's that's totally logical. Um, and it was just a reoccurring thing in my head. It wouldn't go away until I jumped. I knew when I jumped, it would stop. And so I would have many things like that where they would just be like this reoccurring like thing in my head, like this is going to happen to you. This is going to happen to you. This is going to, and I can just, I, I just learned to push past it. You know, I learned that, that voice of anxiety, you know, I don't have to listen to the voice of anxiety and I learned to ignore it. And I just learned to shut it off and tune it out. And so then, you know, when I was taking these evaluations for anxiety and I'm filling out this form and it's like asking me about like these mental questions with anxiety. I'm like, no, no, no. And then it's asking about the physical symptoms of anxiety and I have all of them. You know, it's like talking about stomach distress and sweating and heart palpitations and headaches and tension and uh, racing thoughts, things like that. And I was, you know, I, I didn't, I guess I had just tuned everything out. I had just pushed it out and I had just disconnected myself from it so far that I, I don't know. I just didn't, I was having all these physical symptoms and I just didn't know what anxiety was. I didn't have the vocabulary. Um, and so then when I did really learn about anxiety and what anxiety is, and I was able to say, to understand that yes, uh, anxiety does sometimes have an impact on my life still. Uh, but knowing, you know, knowledge is power, knowledge is power, knowing and understanding, uh, anxiety, uh, has been very helpful to me because it's, you know, I, I'm better equipped to deal with it. And I think it's helping me, I don't know, to, to where it's not going to get the best of me as often. Um, you know, when my anxiety does get the best of me, because it still happens, um, I guess for me that can look like I can be talking really, really fast and I get really just amped up and like the adrenaline is just pumping and so I'm like racing around going really, really fast. I don't even realize like I'm like, like um, doing a video if I'm nervous. I might be talking really quick in the video or if I'm in a large group of people and I get nervous, like I might start talking really fast and uh, accidentally interrupting other people because I'm just like, you know, all over the place. And I'm just like, ah, amped up, amped up. Um, or, you know, if it's like just overwhelmed, um, unfortunately, sometimes that can just look like me lashing out or just... I can just be really crabby and nasty. I hate that. Uh, but it's, you know, it's, that's what I'm saying. Getting my anxiety is getting the best of me. I letting my anxiety get the best of me. And, you know, it's, uh, it's not good for your relationships with other human beings. Um, so, um, you know, I guess the goal would eventually that like for my anxiety to never get the best of me, um, but I'm a work in progress, uh, and hopefully, you know, every day things get a little bit better, um, but that's just, uh, my experience, uh, and just some of, um, what anxiety has been like, um, for me. Uh, anyway, guys, uh, let me know, you know, what tools do you have for dealing with anxiety, I really, really like breathing exercises. I really like meditation. Um, I love going for walks. I find doing something physical uh, that kind of requires my mind to be focused on it can be really helpful because it can just kind of take my mind off of something else. If my mind is like stuck somewhere else, like, you know, on, on something that isn't even happening right now, I don't need to worry about that now in the future. Uh, so that's really helpful to me is just that like, breathing, something to keep me right now, right here, right now. Uh, so cheesy, but mindfulness has really just been transformative for me. Um, but what, what helps you? Let me know. Uh, if you found this video helpful, uh, go ahead and share. And if you like this topic, give me a thumbs up and maybe we'll do more videos or I'll do more videos uh, talking about uh, anxiety and mental health in the future. Uh, thank you guys so much. I will talk to you next week.